Welcome back to the European Championships. You're wearing different colors now. Can you talk about the switch and the FIG process and how you're feeling about not competing for Ireland? Uh, it's so exciting. Um, I say I'm 27 years old now. It's, it's, it's a tough sport. It's a tough game. And uh, I've been thinking about moving to Ireland since 2016. I just wanted the time to be right. And I think now I told my dad that I'm making the switch. I don't think I saw a bigger smile on his face because he originally was from Carlo. So it's nice for, it's really nice that he's actually more involved with it now. He was always involved, but I think actually he's already told his brothers, my uncles, that I'm going for Ireland. And uh, the, the switch was so easy. I've not left on bad terms with British Gymnastics. I told them and um, they were really almost quite happy because they know it's so tough in Great Britain with all the boys that are up and coming. And it's, we talk about mental health quite a lot and it's so hard and I, it's so hard to keep going in gymnastics. Now we do all of the training, all of the competitions, all of the trials. And then I wouldn't want to sit at home watching the, watching the competition because that's not good for my brain. Um, I'm here to enjoy my gymnastics again. Um, I've moved to Ireland uh, with the team and it's so exciting seeing so many boys out there. Whenever I was competing with Great Britain, I'd look over and it was always just Reese. But now there's a full squad of us and it's so nice to see bright green. You've seen the bright green over there. Um, so I'm trying to speak more Irish. So I've been saying grand. So I have been trying. I know a few Irish words now. So I have been learning and um, I think the morale within the team, we're very excited to be here. And uh, I think we're going to put on a nice show. In 2021 at Worlds, you gave us this quote and you said, I'm a broken man. So how was your recovery post the two ankle surgeries and are you doing downgraded routines here to accommodate that? Yeah, I was a broken man mentally, physically. Uh, two operations later, um, it was really nice. A bit of time off, a bit of refocusing in my what I want to do in life. Um, and I think making a switch gave me that motivation, talking to the guys and uh, I'm, I'm here now. I'm a, a lot happier um, and uh, I'm excited. Uh, so recovery wise, it was okay. Ankles that I can walk again. I'm not in so much pain now. Uh, this competition here, I'm here to try and qualify for the world championships uh, in the all around spot. Um, so I've got a lot of work to do, but out there, it was really nice to be out there. And um, now it's, um, time to just like, like I say downgrade in my routines a little bit uh, I want to build a base I haven't competed for 2021 uh, world championships and that wasn't an amazing competition with the ankles so I'm building a base and I'm going to start getting better and better excellent so it seems like you've added a second career as commentator presenter Give me this microphone. <laughs> yes I have I am here and I'm the presenter and the athlete <laughs> excellent then can you tell us about your new role as presenter and I guess reporter for the Commonwealth Games so Commonwealth Games, I couldn't compete as I was uh, not Northern Ireland, I'm a Republic of Ireland and obviously I can't compete for England, uh, but I still wanted to be involved. It was part of my, I, I watched the whole Commonwealth Games through. It would have been nice to compete there, but I still wanted to be involved. So I applied for a job, turned up in actually a track suit, like, let's go. Um, I know a lot about gymnastics and I know down on that field, I can have an interview with the guys and uh, bring a bit more of their character out. I don't want gymnastics to be so robotic. I want to have fun. As you see, I'm out there, I'm having fun. It doesn't look like it's too hard work, but I am having fun. And the boys, the interviews, it's a bit more personal that I can ask them questions. I see when I was running around in a crowd, I was seeing some of the boys' family uh, getting them up, talking about them. Because gymnastics, everyone needs to know, this doesn't happen overnight. We've been training for weeks, months, and lots and lots of injuries, lots of blood, lots of sweat. And it, it looks like it's really easy. And I'll promise you it's not. So for me to be that presenter and talk about gymnastics, yeah, how hard it is. Gymnastics is so hard to understand as a, someone who doesn't know sport or gymnastics. It's so hard. So I tried to almost talk, talk about gymnastics to the general population. Instead of saying, oh, he did a Giannis and Yamawaki, no one knows what that means. Whereas if I said, oh, they did a double front flip through the rings and stayed on the rings, count how many gymnasts you can see. It's things like that. So I really did enjoy it. But uh, this time I am being a gymnast. You can have your mic back. Oh, thank, thank you very much. So you said you don't want it to be robotic. We just had the women's championships and we got to see lots of choreographed intros. So do you think you could convince Team Ireland to do a choreographed intro? I think we had a nice dance up there earlier. It wasn't very choreographed. So maybe we speak back, but uh, I don't know. I'm not the dancing type. Get a few drinks in me, but I don't think we're allowed to do that before the competition. No, I can't drink before the comp. I wouldn't recommend that. Mm, we'll see. So if I'm dancing, you know, I've had a couple of drinks. <laughs> um, a few weeks ago, you posted about Jen Gatarova breaking the floor and she told me last week that she thought others contributed to it. So are you jealous that she was the one who broke the floor or do you think that you contributed to, to it? I, I don't tumble that way. I saw her and I heard it and I was like, Jess, was it Jess, yeah? Jess, and I said, no, with Jen. Jen. Jen, yeah, Jen. I still don't know. I said this in, in the, when I was commenting, I don't know which one's which. I spoke to Jen and I, I heard her land and I was like, you definitely went through that floor then. She was like, mm, yeah, I think I broke it. And I was like, 
I jumped on it. I was like, no, no one is tumbling. I'm the health and safety here. No one is tumbling. We lifted it up and it was broke. I was like, I told you. Did you pull a Bart Durlow from 2017 where you pointed at the floor? I was like, get that out. And then looked at it and I was like, told you, I told you. I said, yeah, Jen, it was you. No one else. It was all you. We have the truth, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much, Tom. No worries. Lovely to be back.